Number 56, professional application. Ion propulsion rockets have been proposed for use in space. They employ atomic ionization techniques and nuclear energy sources to produce extremely high exhaust velocities, perhaps as great as eight times 10 to the six meters per second. These techniques allow a much more favorable payload to fuel ratio. To illustrate this fact, letter A, calculate the increase in velocity of a 20,000 kilogram space probe that expels only 40 kilograms of its mass at the given exhaust velocity. All right, so letter A, uh, we're going to use this equation from the textbook we just talked about in question 55 as well. So the increase in velocity, all right, will be equal to the exhaust velocity, all right, V sub E, multiplied then by the natural log of the initial mass, uh, mass uh, divided by the uh, final mass, okay, of the object. So the increase in velocity will be equal to the exhaust velocity, which they told us was 8 times 10 to the 6, multiplied then by the natural log of the initial mass, right, at 20,000 kilogram space probe, so 20,000, divided by the final mass. Well, if this is the initial mass and the uh, space probe expelled only 40 kilograms, right, how would you find the final mass? Well, it's simple. Just take 20,000 and minus 40 from it. Okay, and that's it. So here we can find the increase in velocity. So just take out the calculator. So 8 times 10 to the 6 multiplied by natural log, parenthesis, of 20,000, right? Divided by then, parenthesis, 20,000 minus 40. And here we go. So the increase in velocity large number, right? 1.6, uh, yeah, 1.60 times 10 raised to the fourth. Right? And that is in meters per second. So that's the increase in velocity. So that takes care of letter A. And letter B, Let's see what we got. So these engines are usually designed to produce a very small thrust uh, for a long time. Uh, the type of engine that might be useful on a trip to the outer planets, for example. Calculate the acceleration of such an engine if it expels 4.5 times 10 to the minus 6 kilograms per second at the given velocity, assuming the acceleration due to gravity is negligible. All right, so now we're looking at this equation over here. Okay, and basically all we're going to do is plug in the values again. So the acceleration is equal to the uh, exhaust velocity, and that we are using the same value, right, 8 times 10 to the 6, divided by the original mass, which was 20,000 kilograms, uh, multiplied then by the change in mass per time, right, and that they gave us over here. It's expelling mass at a rate of 4.5 times 10 to the minus 6 kilograms per second. Those are the right units. So this is 4.50 times 10 to the minus 6. And then it said, uh, assuming the acceleration due to gravity is negligible, so we would have to subtract g, but essentially since it's negligible, it's just subtracting 0. And now let's just plug in the values. So 8 times 10 to the 6 divided by 20,000 times 4.5 times 10 to the minus 6. And here we get an acceleration of, and we'll do it in scientific, so 1.8 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, times 10 to the minus 3, and that is meters per second squared. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. I look forward to helping you in the next question. Take care.